every time I play this game just gets me emotional. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the ranking. Here's my ranking of all the main characters of Final Fantasy X. Yes, I, I just started recently playing Final Fantasy X again for the PS4. Uh, that's the remastered version. Um, I don't know, just, uh, I've always grown up with this game, Final Fantasy X, and just every, like, four or five years, I play it, and I beat it, and just have a good time with it. Uh, do the same thing with Final Fantasy VII. Can't wait for the remastered version of VII and stuff. And I might do a similar list to VII when I'm doing with this list. I thought I'd rank all the Final Fantasy X characters. And I'm obviously not going to rank every single character that's in the game. Because then that's a very big ranking. There's like over 50 characters. Like that's a lot of people. So I just thought I'd just rank the seven main characters. The main characters the story focuses on. And the thing is about Final Fantasy X... It has great characters. Like, I love every character in Final Fantasy X. See, Final Fantasy VII is a better game, I think. It has a better story. It has, uh, just, I don't know, just better action, better gameplay. And just, it's more darker and twisted. It's got one of the best twists in any Final Fantasy with the main character. And, of course, more importantly, it has the most compelling main character in any Final Fantasy game I've ever played. So good. Um, but Final Fantasy VII does have some characters I don't like. X does not have that problem. X has... Great characters. I love every main character in Final Fantasy X. So this ranking was relatively difficult to make, but I managed to do it, so let's get to it. Here's my ranking of the seven main characters in Final Fantasy X, or Final Fantasy X, however you want to call it. All right, let's get started. Coming in at number seven is Kimari Ronso uh, from the Ronso, Madame Gay Gazette. Uh, he has uh, been part of Yuna's Guardians from... She was a kid stuff, and Kimari is a romp, so he basically looks like this big, huge blue wolf thing with, like, cool hair. He's got a big spear, and honestly, he's a pretty badass character. I really like him. I love the design of him, and he's just a really cool character. I really enjoy Kimari Ronzo. He's a really guy, great guy. Uh, he always protects Yuna. He's loyal to the end. Um, the biggest problem with Kimari, he doesn't really say much, and he doesn't really have a character arc. He just kind of wasn't really accepted by the Ronsos on Mount Gay Gazette, and they chopped his horn off, and basically he just kind of gets his, you know, just desserts on them uh, when you go to Mount Gay Gazette, and that's kind of it, really. He doesn't really have an arc. He doesn't really say much in the game and doesn't really do much, but he's still a cool guy. I still really enjoy him, but definitely the weakest out of the main characters. Coming number six is Lulu. Lulu, I love Lulu. I love her design. I love her look. She is a very useful game, useful, useful character in the game. Her black magic is super, 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 super helpful. She gets flair, she gets all the magics, the blazegas, the thundegas, and all that shit, and without Lulu, you'd be pretty screwed in this game. Uh, my only problem with Lulu, I really love her relationship with Yuna, and all the guardians, and Waka, but she can be kind of a bitch sometimes, especially when you first meet her. She's pretty negative, she's kind of bitchy, and just like, okay, a little positivity lady, like, come on now. And But yeah, she does grow, and she grows as a character, and gets more likable, but when you first meet her, she's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Coming number five is Waka. Waka is super likable, super enjoyable. He's the captain and coach of the Besaid Aurochs. He's a great blitzball player. He's the first guy who meets the main character, Titus, and brings him in the village, introduces him to all the Guardians and Yuna and everything. It's basically his last year playing on the Besaid Orox, and he wants to become a full-time Guardian. He is a very loyal friend and, like, an older brother to, uh, to Yuna. I love Waka. I love the look of Waka. I love he's got the Blitzball. He, like, fucking throws the Blitzball at his enemies and the Fiends, and he's just a super great dude. I have little to no problems with Waka. The only, I guess, these other characters I just like more, but I enjoy Waka a lot. Coming to number four is Riku. Riku, uh, I had a huge crush on Riku, actually, when I was a kid playing this game. Like, ooh, she's hot. But uh, I love Riku. She's in Albed. She's the cousin of Yuna. And her and Waka do bump heads because because Waka is kind of racist against Albeds and stuff. And But then he finds out Yuna's half Albed, so it's kind of a contradiction right there. But Riku is the very first person, like, Titus meets when he first arrives in Spira. He help, she helps him out and everything. And then she eventually becomes the final guardian for Yuna and stuff. And... 
Riku is just a very likable character. She just she's so lovable. She's so ditzy at times. She gets scared when she needs to get scared and stuff. She just she brings the life of the party. She brings the energy. She brings the humor. Just I I love her energy and stuff, and I love her positivity and just I don't know. She's just so adorable and so cute. And just I love Riku. <laughs> Coming to number three is Titus, the main character Titus. He is the guy that you're following for the whole story, and Titus is a very enjoyable character. Uh, you feel his pain, you, I love his narration, you love his story, you're just you're just like heartbroken how it all ends, it's just really sad. Uh, he does have a bit of cockiness and arrogance because of his father, Jack, but he wants to be nothing like Jack because he absolutely despises his father because how he treated him as a kid and how he just abandoned him and his mother to come to Spira and become the final Aeon and become Sin, pretty much. Uh, I do enjoy Titus. I love his relationship with Yuna. I love that he's a brave and loyal soldier, and I just, I really enjoy him. I, I enjoy his whole story throughout this entire game, and just, yeah, Titus is a great dude. Coming number two is Yuna. Lady Yuna is the heart and soul of this game. She is the heart. She is literally the most likable character in this whole game, and I don't know, she, just her sheer positivity and likability, just you can't help but love her. You, you understand why Titus falls in love with her. You're falling in love with her while playing this game. Like, she's just so likable and just, she's so powerful too. She's a summoner, she wants to become a high summoner to defeat Sin. She summons all the summons, all the Aeons and stuff. She's got the white magic. She eventually gets holy at the end of the game. Like, she is one of the most powerful characters in this entire game. And she is the one that defeats Sin. She, uh, they all together do it, and then she sends them off. She and all her guardians defeat Sin without summoning the final Aeon and repeating Sin again. Like, they defeat Yu Yevin, they defeat Sin, and they bring peace to Spira. They're the only people to ever do that. And that's a really awesome accomplishment, and I, just, I love Yuna. I love her story. I love her relationship with Titus. I love how powerful she is. I love that she's loyal to all the Guardians, and she's so appreciative of all her Guardians and all her friends. And just, again, she's the soul of this game. And my number one favorite character is Orin. Orin's my favorite character. Love Orin. Fucking love Orin. Super badass character. He was a Guardian of Lady Yuna's father, Lord Braska back 10 years ago with Jack and stuff, and then he had to witness both of his friends dying, and then he basically, he made a promise to Jack that he'd take care of Titus, and he made a promise to Braska that he'd watch over Yuna and become her guardian. He keeps that promise and brings them basically all together because he's the one that sends Titus to Spira. And he's such a badass character. He has, like, this numb arm, this fucked up eye. He has, like, has this big sword. And, like, man, he's one of the most powerful characters. Like, the way he swings his sword is so awesome. Just the love the look of him. I love his attitude. He's just straight to the point and stuff. It almost comes off kind of like a dick sometimes. But, no, he's just he's just right to the point. I, I love Ward. I freaking love Ward. He's always my favorite character as a kid. And even now playing now, he's my favorite character. So that's my ranking of all the main characters of Final Fantasy X, from least favorite to my favorite. So in the comments section below, please tell me, did you agree with this ranking? If not, give me your guys' favorite, least favorite, give me your whole rankings, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.